Hey, so what is up and welcome and thank you so much for joining us yet again. This is Big D Cutting and I am Adam from Big D Concrete Cutting and Core Drilling. So what we have going on today is I'm going to take you through the process of an entire job where we're going to cut out the floor, the plumbers are going to do what they're going to do, and then we're going to go ahead and report so that way the flooring people can come back and do what they need to do. So we're going to be cutting, we're going to be removing, and we're going to be doweling in, laying plastic, repouring, finishing it off, and it's going to look really good, and this is going to be a good one. So one thing that I wanted to touch on really quickly is it's pretty often that we get calls from homeowners that have seen our other videos asking if it's okay to cut apart the foundation of their house, if their house is gonna collapse or if it's dangerous in any way. This is just a really good example showing you that it is possible, it is fine, it's not anything detrimental, it can be fixed. If you have an old cast pipe, we can go ahead and cut out the foundation, cut the slab. Plumbers are gonna do what they need to do. They repipe this entire house. We cut over 100 square feet out of this house right here and everything is completely fine. So if you're concerned about your house because it has a problem similar to this, I understand that, but you do not have to be concerned. Just call a professional or call us. We can get it handled. All right, so now it is actually the next day. The plumber went in and did everything they needed to do. We had the pest control company, well actually the contractor had them treat the dirt because before we do the concrete, the soil and the dirt has to be treated for pests. And we don't handle that, but we know it has to be done before we can do what we need to do. So speaking of what we need to do, let's go ahead and take a look inside. Everything is looking just as it should, we're gonna have to form in this step. Now another thing that we wanna make sure is when we cut, we were cutting right on this edge and this surface is a lot higher than what the actual slab is. So once we pour it back, we wanna pour back to slab. We don't wanna pour back to the flooring that was on there because once they do their new flooring, they're gonna take off all the old flooring. So you want the slab to be level with the slab that is there, not the flooring that is there. It's a lot easier to see and a lot more easy to understand when you have um, wood. Obviously, it's gonna to wanna to come off, but you also have to consider this when you have tile. We can cut right through the tile, but as you can see in the kitchen, pretty dark sorry for the lighting there's not a lot of lights in here but either way like I was saying we have to pour back to grade of the concrete not to where the tile is at
We got the six mil plastic down. We're doing the dowels now. And uh, we got them every 32 inches off center. And just like that, as you can see, we got our concrete, we got our mixer just about ready to go. We're just letting it mix in a little bit more. Looks pretty good. This works out really well for us. This will carry about one and three quarters of a yard. With our square footage and the thickness, we should have we should have a little bit extra. You always want to get a little bit more concrete than you're going to need because the last thing you want to do is not have enough, right? All right, so that was another job for the books. That was 115 square feet, cut, popped, removed, hauled away to be disposed of properly. And then the next day we came back, re-poured everything, we dialed it in, did the six mil plastic, everything to code, just like it's supposed to be, just as the customer requested it to be. And we are looking really good. So that's gonna be it for this one, you guys. If you had any questions or wanted to book any jobs, our contact information is going to be down below along with some of our other social media stuff, our website, everything. So check that out, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And also do not forget to subscribe. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Keep it big deep.